In the last 20 years, the number of seniors getting plastic surgery has doubled, but is surgery after 60 a good idea? Plastic surgery isn't just for the glamorous Hollywood stars, now it's for glamorous grannies. And we're not talking just Botox and facelifts. Seniors are getting all the trendy surgeries, including Brazilian butt lifts and breast augmentations. I'm 62 years old. Is it too late to want to improve myself? I want to look the way I did, you know, a few years ago. I started out by doing liposuction on her back area and reshaping her butt off, removing the problem areas that she's always had in her upper and lower back. We're able to get rid of the fat in her arms and use an ultrasound assisted device to tighten the skin while harvesting the fat at the same time. The second part of the surgery, um, I began with the tummy tuck portion of the procedure. And once that was completed, uh, we turned our attention to her breasts and did a breast lift. And we're really excited for the result. Tomorrow, I'll be performing a facelift, a neck lift, and an upper eyelid surgery. And that is really going to rejuvenate uh, both Laura's upper and lower face and neck. We're at part two of Laura's surgery, which entails uh, facelift, fast transfer, and inner outer thigh liposuction, as well as part of redefining part of her abdomen. And you'll be able to see this transformation shortly. Laura's makeover included a facelift, blepharoplasty, lipo neck, lipo flanks, lipo abdomen, lipo legs, a tummy tuck, and a breast lift, totaling over $55,000. That's a deal. <laughs> Join us in the audience are Laura along with the doctor, the plastic surgeon, Dr. Sheila Nazari, and I love Drew's up here. That's a deal. That's, that, that's a heck of a, that's a lot of surgery. I mean, yeah. but you know, the, the issue there, I mean, safety always comes first whenever you're doing anything elective, but two surgeons who so you were working simultaneously, big plus, and you mm -hmm. broke it up. Correct. You did it in two days because it's all about safety first and selecting totally the right true. patient, obviously if somebody has underlying issues, mm -hmm. but I want you to touch on how, what sticklers we are in terms of medical clearance and that we only do these things in accredited facilities just like doing it in the hospital. Correct, I mean, it's all about safety first. Everybody looks at plastic surgeons and they think, oh, these are just, you know, glorified cosmetologists. We're not, we're doctors first. And that ethic, ethical safety, all that stuff comes first. We have to make sure that our patients are healthy, that they're gonna, you know, make it through the surgery with flying colors. Well, let me ask the, the two of you a question as plastic surgeons. Anytime you have a surgery, there are risks. How do you, and again, this really goes for any age, but in particular, if someone is, say, we'll even say beyond 70 or 80. So how do you know that you're in good hands and that the doc isn't saying, let's do this, 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 and this, when in fairness, Laura, you had a lot done. A and, lot. And yeah. for some other people, maybe that would be too much. So how do you know that you're with the right kind of doc? Because I would go see you two, but how do I know that I'm not seeing someone who's, who's a little too well, aggressive? I, I, I'm gonna, first thing, if you're over 50 and you're having anything done electively, whether it's orthopedic surgery, whatever, you need medical clearance from your private doctor and you need a full workup with EKG and chest x-ray and all the labs, all of those things over 50, so. Uh, I mean, I that, can do those things for my patients under 50. Yeah. You know, I've, I've, I've operated on 20 year olds that had high cholesterol and had no idea, or who were anemic because of heavy periods and they had no idea. So you want to, and maybe they would have never gone and seen a doctor if they weren't getting their breasts done. I mean, so I, I get that kind of clearance on all my patients. And, and you know, I'm doing primary noses, primary breast augmentations on women in their 70s, some close to 80s, I mean, you know, the families are a little pissed off at me because I'm digging into that inheritance. They're paying, me, they're, they're paying me to do this elective surgery late in life, but it's all about if it makes you happy and you, you're healthy enough to undergo it, why And in not? this case, Laura, happy? You sure I'm look happy. I'm very happy, but I lost 40 pounds before I did this. I did it to be healthier, too. You look great. Oh, you, look, you really do look great.